hi students, this is Miss Leahy and I'm here to help you find the problems that you got wrong on your Eduphoria test and so that you can do test corrections. I'm assuming that you have a hard copy of the test um, and that'll be awesome. But you also need to know which actual problems you got wrong. So pay attention and you'll be able to find them. First, you're of course signing into your SSO page. And then you're going to go down to your Eduphoria app. It says Eduphoria Online Testing. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I put my app in my favorites. And how I did that is I just right click on the app and choose Add to Favorites. And because I know that you really want to have your online testing button in your favorite section on your SSO, there you go. You got it now. Yay. So click on it even if it isn't your favorites. And then you'll have two sections that show up. One section is tests that you could take. The another, another section is tests that you could review. So you're going to move down here to the review, even if there's something up here. I click on the test I'd like to review, which is our math test. And now I've got like a scorecard of, my, uh, of the test I took. So I can click on the number of the problem and I get my problem and I get the answer that I chose or, or that, you know, I figured out. But if it's wrong, of course, you have to work it out on paper and then you'll be able to submit that for, um, for your test corrections. So after you do that one, you can click on the next button at the bottom of the screen or see there's the next or you can just click on the next one doesn't matter just click and now I've got this one okay so now I know it's not letter D so I can work the problem out and hopefully get a different answer and you're just going to keep on working through all of those at either clicking the next or clicking the button of course you skip the ones that are green because those are the ones you already got right and then when you're finished that's awesome and you click on exit test and when you exit the test, you're back to this screen. And when you're back to this screen, you can close the tab. And to be honest with you, you can just close the tab and you'll be back to your SSO page. Any questions, talk to your teacher. Thanks for listening.